Well, hey there, guys, it's uh, Carl here, and uh, today I just thought I would do a quick update on uh, a new piece of equipment that I've got. And uh, this is mainly for vlogging and when I go to Skiathos mainly. But uh, I've just purchased myself one of these, uh, it is for Sports HD DV, also known as the SJ4000, and uh, it cost me £41 on eBay. Uh, I don't know whether it was second hand or brand new, I think it was brand new but uh, anyway I've tested it out, it seems to be pretty good so I'm going to be showing you a few other things which come with it, how I'm going to use it and uh, some test footage as well. This is the box which it comes in comes with some decent instructions which repeat themselves in numerous different languages when you open the box first thing that you're greeted with is the camera this is it, as you can see it looks a lot like a GoPro apart from the fact that it has a screen on the back, this is actually an LCD screen uh, that works as a viewfinder you can actually work, work through your settings and everything on this it's full colour as well as you can see this is what it looks like, you've got a few more buttons uh, accessible than on the GoPro this here is a GoPro mount compatible clip you can actually use that on GoPro mounts uh, this is GoPro compatible hardware as well uh, the case is not interchangeable, you need to get an SJ 4000 case or the SJ4000. So let's just quickly remove this from the case by flicking that switch over and then pushing up like so and then you can flip that back open up the back which has a waterproof seal on and some rubber pads tip out the camera and here it is. As you can see much similar to the size of the GoPro the lens looks extremely similar we have our power and mode button our OK and capture button up and down selection keys, LCD screen, we have status indicators on the side, we also have our micro USB port for charging and data sync, our micro HDMI and our micro SD card port for micro SD cards. I'm using a class 10 which is what it recommends. As you can see really small in my hand, a nice rubberized plasticky texture on the outside, it doesn't feel like you're going to drop it at all, it's nice and grippy. So that is the camera. The first thing which I want to mention is I have already made a extension stick by attaching the bicycle handlebar grip onto the end of this extendable pole which is extendable and on top of that I've attached the quarter inch hardware uh, which will allow me to attach it to the frame which I'll show you in a minute so that's where that's gone just in case you're wondering. These, this is a well, basically one of the clip brackets, so if I close this case up for you, I can show you a bit better how this works. So as you can see, these are the clips, which go on the bottom, and I've just dropped it. Whoops. So, here it is. As you can see, these are the clips. And basically, this is a sticky back thing on the back. I'm not too sure about how well that will work, but anyway, it's there. And uh, a tripod hole on this one as well. Tripod screw threads. And uh, basically, to attach the camera, you push the clip in and that's it securely on there, it's not going to move out of there and to prove it, it's actually extremely hard to uh, unclip and take out like so, so that's that obviously you get the waterproof case, waterproof to 40 meters it's also quite shockproof as well this is a 90 degree angle changer swapper doodamabob thing uh, <laughs> This will change the angle of uh, whatever you're using, really. So, obviously, if you put that on like that, then the threads go that way, so it changes the angle of the camera instead of it being that way to that way. This is the longer one, there's a shorter one as well. So, that's that. What do we have here? We have, I don't know what this is exactly for. I've been looking at it. It's, they call it Base 2. It's just like the clip, which is already on the uh, waterproof case. But this here is a bit more curved and it's longer and. Um, I don't exactly know what it's for. It looks like it may possibly be so that you can have a bit more maneuverability whilst tilting the camera. Uh, oh yes, I get what this will be for now. This will be for if you're using the camera with a head mount. Because if you clip that on, that can fold all the way up and you can clip it into the head mount like so. That's how that works. This is a belt slash clothes clip with a larger clip on the back. I'll show you what that's for in a minute. We have another one of these sticky pad things. This one doesn't have a tripod uh, thread in it. It does have a hole for the tripod thread, but it doesn't have a tripod thread. It's just sticky on the back, and uh, like I said, I don't really trust these. A uh, pointless kind of thing. It's this. No idea what the point of that is, but they give you it anyway. Uh, this is a shorter 90 degree twist. 
which comes with a uh, screw thumb screw thing but I'm using it on my selfie stick that's that this is the top part of the tripod mounting kit but basically this here uh, will allow you to attach your GoPro to it and then you can attach it to a standard tripod quarter inch thread which will come in handy in Skiathos we also have a cleaning cloth mine is a bit defected uh, you're supposed to get a back which has holes in for better sound and mine doesn't have holes in so there you go but you get another back more sticky pads and a cable thing this is obviously to secure it down zip ties and multiple velcro bandages of different sizes and some elastic bandages of different sizes which will come in hand this is the frame which I was talking about uh, basically your GoPro or sorry your SJ4000 uh, basically this allows you to pop it in there like so and I've knocked it on in the instance but basically you can see the screen you can use it as a dash cam it's got top and bottom mounted quarter inch threads let me just turn this off before we waste the battery and uh, it's better for audio obviously because it's just the frame and uh, this is what this clip is for here you can slot this clip in to the back here I can just show you that whoops pop that in there until it clicks like so and then you have a clothes clip so you can clip it onto things and obviously you can take that off which exposes the screen. The screen's decent on this uh, you can actually see stuff with the screen it's decent for viewfinding it's better for going through the settings it's a lot easier as well as the up and down arrows make it a lot easier for navigating through settings and stuff as well obviously the best feature of this is you have playback so you can watch back what you've just done so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a few tests with just the GoPro I mean not the I'm, I can't stop calling it a GoPro the SJ4000 uh, in the frame and the SJ4000 in the waterproof casing and uh, we'll do a few tests and we'll see what it sounds like so this is just a test of the SJ4000 without the waterproof case on I've just got it in the frame at the moment and I've got it on the end of the stick as you can see and uh, yeah so I hope I would imagine the audio from this will sound better than if it was to be in the waterproof casing just a thought but uh, I would imagine that would be the case. So yeah, now on to the waterproof case.